Hey, welcome to Thursday. Woohoo! Hey, I wanted to share a little bit of something that happened to me yesterday. There's always something happening in my world. And, you know, I, I've noticed that the closer, um, obviously, that God is getting ready to move me or advance me into something, not that I'm great, powerful, or, or wonderful at anything, but I do love the Lord, and I do love serving the Lord, and I know He's moving me into something at a different level now. But I have noticed that then you, you do get under brought under attack more and um, I want to start off by saying the enemy has no power over me I sleep just fine at night and I truly trust the Lord on wherever he's going to take me and lead me and, and I'm just going to obey him you know I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing or when it's happening but I know it's going to happen so this person that I've been praying differently for um Okay, I block his number. He's totally blocked. Hit the, his number. And, um, but he calls from different numbers, and I've spoken on this before. So at 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday, I get a phone call. And I'm wanting to know if I had any money, because he needs money. And I said, nope, I'm sorry, I, I don't have any money for you. And he, you know, started cursing, and he was talking about how he's in a really bad way. And I said, you know, I said, hey, I'm truly sorry. I do not. I said, you know, go to the Lord and seek the Lord and pray on it. And the Lord's going to de deliver you and he's going to help you, you know. And it might not be the help and that might not be money in your hand, but the Lord will help you. And, of course, he didn't want to hear that. And I pretty much was tired of hearing the profanity. I hung up. I blocked that number. And then I got text messages from another number. I do not like Google. They will give you all these numbers. And then um, another phone call, and as many of you know, I have people that I give my phone number to on the streets, and they call me, and we pray, and you know they'll be in crisis or something, and I'm just so happy to be able to talk to them, or you know they'll just call me to say hey, good morning, or hello, or I was thinking of you, and you know that's such a blessing because then I can share the word of God even more with them. But <laughs> so I answered this call, and it was him. And in this really loud, angry voice, he said, I want you to know I am God. Okay, so all this leads me to these scriptures. Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Now, I'm not going to lie, because I was like, it really burned my bacon when he was saying he is God and he went on to tell me there is no Jesus and um, that we're all being deceived and that if we thought Saul was bad you know before he became Paul we better watch out and uh, he sent that in text message and I did save that one because there was a couple of them that felt threatening to me and so I wanted to just keep those in a file so then it went, Matthew 10 tells us, But whoever shall deny me before people, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Because in John 14, 6, it says the only way, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So, I really wanted to jump through the phone. I, I was like, but I keep reminding myself when the Lord said, look, the battle's not yours. This is my battle. So I know that he's really fighting with demons, and I'm praying, and I'm praying, and I'm praying. But finally it was like, just stop answering. And that was really a hard decision to come by. But then I was praying on it, and it was like, well, I could get a second line, and it's an additional $25 a month. Um, I j just needed an additional, you know, a different phone number line. And um, so I could put it on my little business cards and, you know, start having people call that. And um, which I do need a separate line. I, I would change my phone number, but... Um, I've already changed it the one time I get for a year, and he finds out the phone number anyway, so I'm just not even going to worry about that. 
So, um, and when I start handing out the new number, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the second phone line, um, I'll be out of this county anyway, so he, he won't have that one, so. And I, I, I you know, no, none of my family will have it. It's just for people, you know, that that I encounter that, you know, are struggling or just wonderful and happy and great people that I'm just meeting. And so that way there's a, a separate line for that. So anywho, <laughs> salvation cannot be earned. It doesn't matter how much of a Christian we say we are. It doesn't matter all the do good things we do. None of the stuff that I do is going to get me into heaven. I do it because I am told to go out and do it. I am to love my neighbor. I am to go out and help those that are less fortunate. That is a commandment. We are commanded. We are directly told to go and do that. So therefore, I do it, right? I want to obey. I want to listen. I want to obey. And it feels so amazing. But salvation is by grace alone through faith alone, and in Christ alone. Without Jesus Christ, we're not getting anywhere near heaven. So, of course, I, I wasn't able to share any of that with him because he's, like I said, deep into his addiction, and um, I, that's a, a battle that's not mine. And so I just, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, you know. We enter heaven by the forgiveness and through the righteousness that Jesus Christ gives us, not by anything else. It is, oops, oops, it is through Jesus. That's it. And I, I'm thankful. I'm so grateful. I love the Lord. And um, I know there's a, le I always say that, and it's true, there's a lesson to be learned. And this one, I was able to turn to scripture right away instead of, I didn't think quick enough not to not answer my phone because I was thinking of other people, you know, but um, it's been really quiet on the home front today, you know, so um, I pray, I pray that, uh, first I pray that he's safe, and secondly I pray that um, the good Lord is really working on his heart, you know, so... Uh, he just had a great ministry with music. Yeah, he, he had the gift of music, you know. He would, um, just off the top of his head, he would just write a song and share it with people, and people would stop and want to engage. And he was so good at, um, when he wasn't in his sickness, you know, just he, he would just know who, you know, he'd see someone and go up and just start talking to them, and the next thing you know, they're praying together and crying together and just worshiping and loving the Lord together. And, you know, that is so far out of reach for the moment. And I know I could go back to it, but um, it's not for me. Uh, God has other plans for me. And so uh, I guess I just want to, you know, if you're walking around with unforgiveness, which I forgave him right away, if you're walking around... Uh, wondering on well if you do x y and z is that going to get you to heaven get into get into the word of god you know pray on it prayer 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 the holy spirit's going to lead you to the right scripture you know get into the word of god and even if you're alone in this world i'd rather be alone in this world and have my heavenly father proud of me knowing I'm doing well and that I'm going to be received in heaven than anything on this earth. There's nothing on this earth that will make me ever stray away. And I could, I could say that sitting here today. 30 years ago might have been a different story, but it's because you just cut you grow in your faith, grow in your faith, grow in your faith. You know, we can't fool God. That saying, you know, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Well, it is not nice to tempt God Almighty. You know, that we are not to do that. It says we are not to do that. So, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share all of that. It was a crazy day yesterday. You know, I haven't been feeling well anyway. And um, 
So at six in the morning, I had already been up and doing my rounds at the park. So, I mean, it's not like I was awoke by any of that, but at six in the morning, it sure rattled my cage. I was like, oh, come on now, really? I got a lot going on already, but it just takes my mind off what, of what's going on with me. And I was able to sit in prayer. And today I still pray for that person. I will pray each and every day for that person. Um, I've lost many people I cared about to addiction, you know. Satan has no power here. Say that every day. Walk around the house. Satan, you have no power here. You know, it's like, be gone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, anyway, I'm done talking your ear off. I guess that's all I wanted to share is that it's Thursday. It's great. If you'll pray for me, I will pray for you. I go see my doctor tomorrow. I'm going to get some testing done. I'm not going to get into what it's about, but, you know, uh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Everything's good. But do pray for me because I love prayer and I'm praying for you. I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And if you could <laughs> even leave a little comment, that's great because it helps get the word out. That's my whole mission is to share the word of God with people. Anybody, everybody. And remember, God loves you right where you're at. You do not have to wait till you break an addiction or a stronghold. You don't have to change anything to receive our Lord and Savior. Just receive him, accept him, believe that he died on the cross for you and for me. You know, believe that God sent him and then he was raised from the dead. That's pretty, I love that. I, I get the chills every time I think about it. But truly, just receive our Lord and Savior. He loves you. You're so special and wonderful. Okay, I guess that's it for me. I think I might go for a little walk. Anyway, uh, pray for my friend. Pray for that addiction to be broke. There's power in prayer. God love each and every one of you. And I thank you again. This is Gracie and I'm out. Bye, y'all.